ultimate question still remains. Will we have enough room? Are we How much is our stuff going to weigh? Today, we move into our RV of 278 square feet and find out if everything fits. And we run our first ever black tank flush. Let's turn up the love. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thanks for following our journey this far. We are one day away from moving into our RV. Tomorrow is finally the day. How you feeling? Lots of feelings. Uh, mostly excited. Yeah. Lots of emotions excited. It's crazy that just one year ago today, it's January 1st, that we just left Cleveland, Ohio to venture out here to Arizona. I know, and to think that one year ago today when we made that journey, we had no idea what was in our future yet. We just knew that it was time for a change. And so here we are. And what a year it's been. Yeah, over the past year, we have dispersed camp for the first time. We ordered the truck. We ordered the rig. We've secured our spot. We've done the RV tech school. So many things to prepare for our new adventure that starts tomorrow. So it's definitely been a busy year with preparation for what leads up till tomorrow. How are you feeling? I feel good. You know, I'm, I'm a huge researcher and so I feel like I know what's coming for tomorrow. We've, you know, done all the research essentially. Um, and I'm excited that tomorrow's the first day I actually get to get my hands in there and on things and, and start using the rig. It's definitely, definitely nerve wracking because all these, it's like a final exam, right? Like all these things we've been studying and learning about, Tomorrow we have to go execute them. And so there's definitely a lot of pressure um, to get it all done right and correctly. But I think that's why we plan as, as good as we do. You know, we know those nerves are gonna be high. So we've planned our day tomorrow. Very, very, very detailed, very detailed. And I really think the only thing that can make me feel any more prepared or ready is just experience and getting our hands on the rig and being in the rig and doing all the things that we've been watching videos on and reading and studying about and visualizing, we're ready for tomorrow. Yeah, and so one of the sayings that I know you used to say all the time about planning is if you you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And you know, we've talked about visualization. I'm a huge, huge visualizer. And so we want to have an exciting, fun day tomorrow, right? Like look, executing all those new skills for the first time, that's a level of pressure, that's a level of stress that we just haven't had before. And so to ensure that the day goes smoothly, we've really talked it out and we've actually created an itinerary, our roadmap for tomorrow so that we can stay focused on the test at hand. Um, we're prepared, so you wanna walk them through the first part of what we do when that RV shows up? All right, so first on our checklist, is the list of things that needs to be done while the driver is still on site. So first checking, are we level from left to right? Will the slides open? Do we have enough space? And are we accessible to our utilities? Um, then we gotta get the wheels on the yellow blocks and chop the wheels for safety. Yeah, so all those things need to be done once the driver leaves, but then once the driver's out of there, we then can take it from there. Um, we've gotta plug into electric for the first time use that auto level system for the first time. That's probably something we're both a little bit nervous about. Um, get the slides out and then also get the refrigerator chilling down. So when we arrive there tomorrow morning, we're gonna have the RAV4 fully loaded with our first car load. Of course, everything that we need for those first few steps to get us level and secure, we'll have accessible. Once the rig is secure, then we'll finish up with unloading the first car load. In the rest of that first car load, we'll really be mildly endorsed up in fucking Maryville. So it's been a crazy year. The first, we moved a year ago. We have lived in two different Airbnbs before we lived here. We went back to Ohio for two months. They've had a hectic year. The signs of moving are all around the home and they're nervous about it. And so what we want to do before we get there is make sure it feels like home. And so starting on the outside, we're going to put their fence up and the outdoor rug up. So those things right away. And what are we doing on the inside for them? So we'll take their beds with us, get those set up, as well as their the throw blankets, um, just so everything can be familiar, the area rugs in the house. We'll also make our bed so that um, our comforter and sheets and everything are on the bed and, and basically like those doggy smells are there and that they know this is home, they can relax, settle in. And then 
we got a bonus surprise for them on the steps. What did we get for the steps? Oh yeah. So since we last told you everything we got for day one, we ordered the Brinkley steps, the gripper steps. So metal steps that are open, open, these girls, they're not gonna use them. There's just no way they'll be too scared. And what they'll end up trying to do is just jump directly in and jump directly out and they'll get hurt and we don't want them to get hurt. So we're gonna do a little training session. We got the Brinkley rubber that, that goes on top of the metal steps so that it's rubber, it's grippy, it's not gonna scare their little clanky paws on there. And then we'll do a training session with them to teach them how to use the new steps. I think that'll definitely be helpful for them. Yep. <laughs> Once everything is feeling like home and the car is unloaded, we'll actually head back. We're only about 40 minutes from there, so we'll head back. We'll get a second car load and sweet baby girls. And at that time, we'll eat lunch and pack up our lunch. So uh, Sydney made a lasagna today and a big pot of soup yesterday and cooked the dog's food. So we want to set ourselves up for success of being able to go day one and having our fridge stocked with meal prep just like we would any other week. Okay, so once we take the girls back, we'll take them for a walk around the RV park to get all those nerves and jitters out and let them get comfortable with their surrounding area. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take them to the RV. Um, we'll have a little bit of training on the steps, but let them get comfortable. We have time set aside to be able to sit with them in the RV, let them roam around, um, you know, before we have to continue on with unpacking and getting stuff set up outside. And this is where it gets serious. So. One of the first things we're going to do is we have a wet rehearsal of the black tank. So we are going to fill the black tanks with clean water to the top, let them sit, make sure there's no leaks. Allegedly the dealership did this, but it wasn't under my watch. So we're going to double check it. <laughs> um, and then we are going to practice emptying the black tank before either of us ever goes to the bathroom. We want a full repetition before the stakes are even higher. <laughs> yeah, so you saw us struggling with the sewer pipes. We did get the new tool, it's in. And we've practiced with that. Um, so we wanna make sure that we can hook everything up, empty it, do all of that while it's just water, um, you know, before we go to the bathroom. Exactly. Um, and then of course, you know, we'll get all of our water lines, all of the water, electric, we actually have a list. So our checklist so that we know exactly what we're doing and we don't have to remember on the fly. Why don't you go ahead, take them down the checklist. Yeah, so I'm hooking up the water pressure gauge and the water filter um, right outside of the rig and, and check the base settings, all that. It's gonna be our first time getting our hands on everything and then connecting the water um, and checking the pressure. And then once the water's connected, that's when we'll go into the wet rehearsal um, and play with the tanks and figure all that out and then unload the second car load of everything and start to get everything put away, which is what I'm most looking forward to. And then one thing I actually did, we did make a determination. We're going with Starlink. We're doing the in motion one. So it's permanently mounted one. And I actually ended up having blue compass permanently mount that. So I'll finish getting that internet connection configured and then we'll get to hopefully relax and enjoy our new home for a few hours. Yeah. Hopefully this time tomorrow we'll have our feet up and, Relaxing in the RV. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, probably not. I'll just be organized and stuff yeah. and put it away. She's been talking about where everything we own, like every single item we own is going to go for the last probably three months. I've got everything visualized of exactly where it's gonna go and organized because it's all gonna fit and it's all gonna be put away because I can't handle stuff just being out and this place is small. So yeah. that's kind of the, the so, compromise and the set us up for success. So what will probably really happen is me and the pups will go for a second loop and give her an hour of space to do what she loves to do. And get everything organized. But the ultimate question still remains, will we have enough room? How gonna, much is our stuff going to weigh? Do we have we, extra space? What do you think? I have no idea about the weight, but I think we'll have plenty of space for our things. Plenty of space? I do. What's your prediction? Oh, I already can visualize it. We have enough space. <laughs> Visualization. So here's the thing. Everybody's like, oh, going to say, oh, you're so organized, whatever. That's all part of visualization, right? We want tomorrow. Emotions are so high. We are so jittery, so nervous, <laughs> so excited, so many things. Emotions are high. You know what days like that are like? You wake up and you're like, gulp. You know, you're just nervous. And uh, 
So we have a plan and visualizing a successful day and then thinking, well, what does a successful day look like is ultimately what led to us creating this itinerary together. And it's also important that we're on the same page of what needs to get done on the first day because there were some things that we realized, you know, weren't priority for day one or moving things around, but being on the same page before we get into it and we're there um, is important. And we just try to do everything we could to set ourselves up for success because it is a fun day and it's a day we've been planning for. And after 12 years of marriage, we know what types of days maybe make us bigger a little bit more than others. And this is really just a preventative measure. <laughs> hey, this is the first time you'll be around for moving day. That is true. Normally, <laughs> full disclosure, normally to prevent stress, <laughs> Um, on moving day, we separate, right? Like both of us like to be in charge and in control and that doesn't usually go well when the stakes are really high. We normally do a very good job of taking turns, but when the stakes are even higher, we both just tend to let go, tend to struggle with letting go. And so it's best to designate a person in charge. And yeah, I used to get the boot. I used to make sure everybody was fed and there was plenty of food <laughs> and then eventually take care of the pups, all that stuff. but. You know, know your role, stay in your lane. That's the biggest lesson there. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you most excited about for tomorrow? Oh, having a home. So like kind of talking about like, you know, when we mentioned like all the transitions for the dogs, we went through those transitions too. Like we didn't put up a single picture on these beige walls of our, our <laughs> rental. And we've loved our rental. I have nothing negative to say about it, but we never, we never made it our home. And uh, I'm excited to, that nesting process. Yeah, same. And getting everything unpacked and just settled and knowing that, okay, nine, ten months, like we're not moving again. Of course, we'll be moving the rig, but we don't have to move all of our stuff yeah. um, in and out and all of that. So just that settled feeling. Yeah, it, it does feel a lot like when we moved into our home in Cleveland, it was like, because we built well, that building process, there was that long wait period of anticipation, mm. much like these last yeah, six that months. nine month, like okay, <laughs> um, just yeah, you're just ready to have the home you've been living in up here for, the last and time. planning a move and all of this. It takes so much of your time as well. So looking to have that off of my plate and focusing yeah. on you it know does. the travels and you know what we bring to you guys and yeah. Focusing on that and for the next chapter. So excited. I know. for the delivery guy to get here with the rig. How you feeling? Nervous. How you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of nerves, feeling jitters, but super excited mm -hmm. with the anticipation, like the day is here. So you just go up there, take, take a left, and then another left. And then you want to move that car? Yeah. I'll flag him down. I'll flag him down. She's dog ready. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. It was a huge weight off. The delivery driver knew we were rookies. He was prepped for that. Um, and he was incredibly patient. Thanks so much. Hub, right? That was his name? Mm -hmm. um, he was a good guy. He helped us out a lot. Um, also, shout out, thanks, Hanks. You warned us that, you know, there's always going to be helpers eager and ready. And 
sure enough, we had a lot of excited neighbors that we had to let know, like, hey, we're good. We hired a professional, like, we need a little space, which was awkward as can be to meet your neighbors and have to say that, but what can you do, man? We had to do what we had to do. I thought we handled it pretty good. So yeah, all is good. We're headed back to get the pups. Stay tuned. Yeah, it's opposite of the under ones. Right here. Come on, baby. Right here. Oh. Aww. Just unloaded the second car load. How you feeling? Good. Ready to put everything away, but uh, based on daylight and priorities, we got to go outside and uh, work with that black tank. Yeah. So it's time for the wet rehearsal of the black tank. So we're gonna go fill that full or close to full. The capacity is 45 gallons. Um, practice dumping, and then we're gonna, for the first time, add the treatment to the toilet and all that, so that we can officially use it. Yeah. Ready for that first use? Yeah. You gonna break her in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. We fumbled through the sewer gear looking for the Volterra valve. Based on our dry run the other day, we thought we just needed to muscle through getting the hose connected. It took us way too long to realize different. Oh, this pin is in the way. The locking pin that keeps it from coming off kept it from going on. Okay. Okay. Not that one. Okay. Now. Slinky? Yeah. Or wait, no, the 90. And the door. Yeah, this is scary part. Hold on, not yet, not yet. Which one are we on? We're on this, this, this. We're on. We're on dry. But we're going into the black tank, so. There's also the other, we gotta turn it on here. Oh, okay. And we didn't come up through. Well, yeah. it's because we're unhooking. But I'm just saying, like. I thought of it. You set a timer. You're watching for grips. I'm gonna go. You set a timer. I got my buzzer. Hey, can you hear me? Like you're good? I check the sensors, see what they say. Okay, yeah, it's two minutes. Yeah, I got scared, I didn't know. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. You having fun? Yeah.
What's it say? Third. You want me to go more? Yeah. Go two more minutes. Make sure it doesn't come. Oh, wait, we want to turn the water back on, right? It's supposed to be flushing the water. Yeah. Let's just start with the Okay, ready? Here it comes. Okay, I'm glad we put the 45 on. Felt something. Felt it happen. Dirge jumping. Interesting. Okay, so there's still some water actually in the tube. So when we are really flushing, make sure we walk the tube that way. Like when they disconnect, you disconnect, you know? We added a J-trap in the sewer hose to prevent gases from coming back up. Okay, so we've got a J. tank is two-thirds full okay if you're gonna turn on city water you need to make sure your settings are correct and your pump is off i had it in to go power fill to fill more of the tank i'm only gonna do it for like two seconds to test my you're just adding stage. more to the tank and we're turning city water back off that's what i had planned to do yep. would you like to nope. do, do you want to do this part or do you, am i good to keep doing it you're or? good to keep going so you have it on yep double check Power bill down over there. Oh. City inlet to tank. Yeah. Okay. I think what we're gonna do is read the instructions and mess with this tomorrow because we have plenty of water to do everything we need today. Is that I think that's a plan? great plan. Because I am mentally fatigued. Yeah. Same. All right, so we're getting some dinner. We're unpacking, settling in, but. Internet's connected, the heat is working. Uh, we did the practice of the black tanks. We kind of gone through the list. It's now time to settle in. So that's what we're gonna do. How are you feeling about everything? Feeling good, excited to get everything put away and settled in, but it was a very successful day. Um, yeah, it was a great day. It was, you know, like all big days had its ups and downs, but it was a very successful day. Mm -hmm. Pops seem to be doing good and we feel good. Yeah. We've used our toilet already. Yeah. So our first night in the RV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we're all snuggled in in our jams and got the first load of everything put away and relaxing. It was a good day. Yeah. It sure was helpful having our checklist and our to-do list to keep everything in order. Um, we felt super prepared and it really just made the day go smoothly. Mm -hmm. It did. Um, so knowing what we needed to get done today and what could wait till tomorrow and the next day because we couldn't do it all today and there's a lot of exciting things. Yeah, but we did the must-dos, we did the trial runs, uh, you know, the most important things. Tomorrow's another day, so it's time to rest up. But stay tuned next week as we'll bring you a full tour of our brand new Brinkley. Thank you so much for watching our journey so far. If you like what you're watching, be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys next week. Look at our swoops. <laughs> I know. Mine's like um, a wave, like a like a surf wave today. It used to be a circular wave. I mean, it just does what it wants, and I roll what it wants.